Hi, I'm Adam from FUN, and today we will be looking at the Great Plains Signature Event Finals Match 1, where teams 2145Z, Pink Shiny Unicorns, and 32092G, Mile High Mechanics, face off against teams 6842V, Vicious Vortex, and 40,000A, Apogee. In this match, we will see for the first time at a high level how the changes to rule GG9 have changed the game. Watch and see how these teams turn the tide of the match by watching for openings and capitalizing off of their opponent's mistakes. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Did you know that fun has awesome merch options, including game theme merch available at funroboticsnetwork.com slash merch? From cute thematic options to robots and fun themed apparel, you can directly support fun and look good at the same time. You can also become a fun member or supporter through YouTube join to get early access to most of our content. Thank you for your continued support. Jumping into this match on the right alliance, we have team 2145Z starting on the right and our alliance 32092G starting on the left. On the blue alliance, we have 40,000A starting on the right and their alliance 6842V starting on the left. So going into the autonomous period, we're going to see pretty standard autos coming out of both of these alliances. They're going to be trying to go for the most amount of control bonuses that they can. And we're going to see a little bit of a battle in this top center goal where the red alliance is going to start by scoring three, but then 6842V is going to push one of them out and score some of their own to get that uh, bonus for the blue alliance. On the far center, or on the far long goal rather, uh, blue alliance is going to also get that control bonus and they're going to have the majority of the balls. While on the close center goal, two, or on the close long goal, uh, 2145Z is going to take that control bonus for the red alliance. Overall, this is going to be an autonomous bonus for the Blue Alliance, and that's going to give them the lead and the advantage going into this match. So playing off of their bonus, 6842V is going to go for a defensive play on 32092G to try and push them away and allow their alliance, 40,000A, to fill up some balls from the match loader to try and fill up this long goal a little bit more and get a little bit better control there. So we're going to watch that happen here. 6842V is going to come over and push uh, their opponents over here uh, and 32092G is going to push back a little bit to try and uh, prevent 6842V from scoring or anything like that. And then so 40,000A is going to get a nice little score over there which is going to uh, get them the large majority of the control over there. So meanwhile we're going to come back here and we're going to see 2145Z because by 6842V making this play this is going to put both Blue Alliance robots on the far side of the field which leaves 2145Z pretty much completely alone over here, which is going to allow them to kind of have control and do pretty much whatever they want on this side of the field. So they're going to end up scoring a couple balls into this uh, goal right here, and then they're going to de-score these two blue ones, and then they're going to try and go over and de-score this uh, center top goal. And so that's going to give them a pretty large point swing, but something else that they could have done that I think they didn't, largely because of these two blue balls that are right here, uh, this is going to this causes them to be hesitant to match load. But is what they could have done is just remove these two blue balls, and that would have allowed them to match load uh, very freely, and they could have potentially filled up this long goal, which would have given them a little bit better control in this match, as they could have just tried to defend this, and this would have forced blue to be uh, down. On points from the very start which would cause them to have to either try to take control of this match or of this long goal which would have taken a lot of their time and effort or they would have had to try and control the rest of the field so we can watch two and four five z is going to end up just scoring a couple balls there these two balls down here from their autonomous kind of uh made it a little bit more difficult for them to score but then they're going to de-score the two blue ones and then they're going to come over and try to make this D score here. So this D score on the center goal ends up being very effective. It gives them control of this top center goal and D scored 12 points worth of blue balls right there. So then over here on this far long goal, we see the blue alliance is trying to defend it, but they're actually struggling a lot here. And the red alliance is able to D score most of the points here. So if we go and watch that back, uh, this goal is almost completely full um, with blue balls. They have, I think 10 balls there. Uh, so they and they have pretty solid control bonus right here with uh, blue balls on both sides of the outside of that of the lines. So pretty much whichever way it gets pushed, they're going to be keeping control. Um, but because of the new rule or the new change to rule GG9, which has now made it uh, considered uh, latching onto the field by putting your wings and kind of holding onto the goal, uh, blue isn't quite able to defend this goal how they'd like. 
uh, and instead they end up being a little bit less effective than they should have. They should have tried to kind of block from both ends and just kind of create a wall so that the Red Alliance isn't able to descore. Uh, but they ended up just kind of playing a little bit ineffectively and in allowing Red to descore right there. So watching this again, we'll see the Red Alliance is able to get in there with their wings and descore. So that's going to put the Blue Alliance at a pretty big disadvantage. So they start off this match in the lead, but this right here pretty much takes them out of the lead right there. So a uh, huge disappointment for the Blue Alliance right there. Uh, but then we'll see 40,000A coming over and trying to instead put pressure over on this goal because they still have the control bonus over there, which means that they want to try and take uh, control over other parts of the field because they're not as dominant on that side. So they're going to come over and they're going to get a score right here, which is going to help them out a good bit. And then we're going to see they line up to D score. So right here, uh, 2145Z notices that 40,000A is lined up for a D score, which is uh, set up pretty perfectly to D score all of these red balls while having the blue balls go straight into the control uh, area. So this is a huge D score for 40,000A that they would be able to pull off. So 2145Z notices this, and they're going to try and come over here and D score, or not D score, sorry. They're going to try and block 40,000A from making this D score. Uh, but is what this ends up doing is this leaves 6842V completely alone, which gives them uh, complete control over this side of the field. So is what they should do here is 6842V should take this opportunity and grab some of these balls that are nearby. And they should try to take control over the center goal because this will be completely open for them. And there's no balls on the bottom uh, goal and then there's only one ball on the top. So it'd be pretty easy for them to take control over the center goal, which would give them the lead that they need. But uh, they end up not actually doing this. And I think they try to score a few more balls into this long goal, which isn't quite as effective as what they could have done. So we'll watch this happen. And 40,000A actually misses this initial D score. And then we see 32092G getting right into this position here. So is what they should have done is they should have noticed that 40,000A was trying to descore here because they already went for one attempt on that. So they should stay right there because this would obviously be a huge descore for them. They should try and stay here. Uh, 32092G should stay here to prevent the descore from happening, but they end up actually leaving, which allows 40,000A to turn this match back into their favor. So we can see right here, 32092G leaves, and this allows 40,000A to go for the D score. So this is a huge D score for them. So 32092G tries to stop it, but they come in a little bit too late. So that's a little bit unfortunate for them. Um, so we'll watch here. The Blue Alliance is up a good bit because of auto now, and they have control bonus on both of these long goals. So they're gonna play some defense on the Red Alliance to try and prevent them from scoring so they can maintain their lead. Um, so then we'll see right here, we can see 2145Z has left 6842V once again. So 6842V once again has an opportunity to grab some of these blue balls that are near them and try and score them into the center goal. This would uh, kind of secure their lead here and put even more pressure on the Red Alliance because they could have control over all four goals and the autonomous bonus. So th this would have been a huge play for 6842V, but once again, they just go for a few balls in this long goal, which puts them or pre or prevents them from taking their lead. So we'll see 6842V is going to score a couple of balls there. 2145Z is going to come back because they notice the pressure that 6842V has on this side of the field. And then 32092G is going to come over here and they're going to get a nice score here, which is going to give them control over this long goal once again and puts them in the goal in the lead of this match because they have uh, control over both of these short goals and this long goal right here, which is going to put them in the lead for the match. So if we watch right here, we're going to see 6842V uh, tries to play defense on 2145Z because they have a few balls in their intake, and they're going to try to maintain control over this long goal, which while this isn't a bad play, uh, the problem with this is 32092G has scored these balls here which means that they're in the lead for this match. So 
6842V is down on points right now, so they really need to be scoring as opposed to trying to prevent a score, because if they're simply defending, then best case scenario, the score stays as is, and they end up losing the match. So they really need to be trying to score right here. They, It would be better for them to kind of ignore 2145Z instead try to score some points of their own in the center goal, which would force 2145Z to, instead of scoring here, they would have to either let 6842V score on the center goal, or they would have to uh, not score themselves and then try to block 6842V. So instead, 6842V just blocks 2145Z, which doesn't even end up working out for them. And 2145Z is able to score, I think, three balls here into this goal, which is going to give them an even further lead. So watching what the other uh, uh, the other two teams were doing. So over here, 32092G actually goes for a park, which is not the best play for them here. It does end up working out in this match, but it was very risky because of the state status of this long goal. So with the way that the blue alliance is positioned, 40,000A has a perfect opportunity to descore in this direction. Horrible arrow to descore in this direction, which would push these uh, red block or yeah the red blocks out and would push potentially the blue ones into the control zone, which could turn the match into the blue alliance's favor once again. Um, so leaving the 40,000A alone to potentially make that play is a very big risk that's not worth the 8 point bonus of the park right here. Uh, but it does end up working out because 40,000A does get caught here and they, they're not able to make that d-score. But had they been able to pull that off, it would have been probably match affecting right there. So a park is a great play when you're in a position uh, to do so. So for example, uh, 2145Z could have gone for this park here. That would have been a much better play for the Red Alliance, or 6842V could have tried to go for a park, and that would have been uh, a pretty good play as well. Uh, but 32092G was basically the only robot in this match that probably shouldn't have gone for a park, but it did end up working out for them in the end. Um, so the 8-point bonus is always great to get if you can, but you want to make sure that you're thinking about how... Um, how your position and how your opponents are positioned to really consider whether a park is the right decision for you. So there's a lot to learn from this match. I think the the Blue Lions uh, definitely could have come out on top had they paid a little bit more attention to the openings that their opponents gave them. Uh, mostly 2145Z had left them a couple times here. Uh, yeah, uh, they had left a couple times here which gave 6842V the perfect opportunity to try and get control over the center goals. Um, and I think had they taken those opportunities, they likely would have been able to come out on top in this match. Um, and I think just in this match, the Red Alliance did a better job of watching for the openings that their opponents gave them and uh, just taking advantage of that to turn the match back into their favor, even though they were starting the match off without the autonomous bonus. So. Definitely in your matches, make sure you're watching out for uh, where your opponents are positioned and what con what parts of the field that gives you control over and how you can make plays based on that to try and turn the match back into your favor or take further control over the match. This match was full of wild and game-changing plays. Let us know in the comments how you think the Blue Alliance could have kept their lead and won the match. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to FUN to keep up with all of our content. I'm Adam and thank you for watching this episode of FUN Analysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future FUN videos. Did you know that FUN has awesome merch options, including game-themed merch available at funroboticsnetwork.com slash merch? From cute thematic options to robots and fun-themed apparel, you can directly support FUN and look good at the same time. You can also become a FUN member or supporter through YouTube Join to get early access to most of our content. Thank you for your continued support.